Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out Robots and Things. Um, this isn't exactly a first thoughts, this is a game that's still in development, they put out a free demo. Um, I'll link to the site, there's like a Kickstarter you can do if you want to support the game getting developed some more. Um, it looked pretty fun from the, from like the footage I've seen, so we're gonna check it out. Uh, basically, yeah, it's a 3D platformer, it's heavily inspired by the Mario, 3D Marios. Uh, we've got like an Odyssey style dive, we've got a Galaxy style spin. Uh, we got controls. <laughs> uh, I should mention, I'm using my Pro Controller here. Currently the game does not support the Pro Controller natively. Uh, I'm using, you know, like a Xbox 360 controller emulator. Uh, so if that's, a, like, presumably they will fix that eventually and make it support other controllers, because this is just a demo, but, um, just a word of warning, I guess. <laughs> so let's, yeah, let's dive in. Uh, you can see we get three files to work with. Uh, you can play this with a keyboard and mouse as well, but I probably, this kind of game I would not recommend that, so let's just dive in, file A, here we go. File, was that A or 1? I don't remember. Okay, so, uh, we've got decent camera control, we can look all around. Uh, it's pretty standard camera control there. Uh, holding ZL makes me stay completely still for some reason, I'm not sure why that is. L button brings the camera behind me. Uh, R button also brings the camera behind me. And ZR is the spin button. So yeah, uh, we've got A here. It's B on my controller, but, you know, 360 controller is what it thinks I'm playing with. Oh, we can wall kick as well. And yep, ledge grabs. All the usual stuff by the looks of things. Basically, if you've played a, played a 3D Mario, you probably know what sorts of controls to expect here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, my money. Oh, it's an odyssey. They take your money away when you fall down. But they don't take all of it. And uh, I now have more money than I died with, with the respawn. <laughs> so yeah, it's very similar to Odyssey in that way. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, let's see the spin here. I'm not sure if they take more money, like depending on how much you have, or if it's always just five. Puzzle piece? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Welcome to the Demo Islands. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see, it says welcome. Uh, B button, oh, B is, uh, this one. Thiny McSinuson. Welcome to our demo. Can you collect all 32 puzzle pieces? There are many crazy things to discover, so I hope you explore and try everything out. Hope you enjoy yourself. Thanks. Okay, we've got our controls here. Uh, so yeah, we got jump. We can do a little bit of a punch here. If you do in midair, it's a bit of a kick. It looks like unlike the kick in Mario 64, it does not give you any extra air time. It doesn't affect your jump arc at all. Uh, which is a shame. Uh, but you can use the spin if you want to affect your jump arc a little bit. Uh, what do we got over here? What does that say? I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> camera sign. Have you been moving the camera around? You can reset the camera behind you by tapping LB. Hold it to tilt the camera back down. You can also press down on the D-pad to zoom out the camera, or up to zoom in the camera. Clicking the, the right stick even lets you look in first person. Okay, so we can zoom out a little bit, or zoom in a little bit. There's only one step in each direction. Okay, if I'm, I'm holding uh, the L, L, B, L button right now. You can see it sort of jitters a little bit. It's a little bit janky. <laughs> Again, this is like a demo. It's a work in progress, so I'm expecting a little bit of jank here and there. Looks like we have some of these flip swap panels from Galaxy 2. Exactly the same behaviour, they activate when you spin. Uh, we can walk with some clouds over here if we want. Uh, now we're somewhere else. <laughs> Grab a couple more coins. I don't know what the coins are for yet. I'm guessing it's like in Odyssey, there's like a shop, but I'm not sure. What's this? Oh, a checkpoint! <gasps> Wait. It's a moon list!
Can, can I can I use the map to walk to different checkpoints? Is, is it an Odyssey? Are we playing an Odyssey right now? Yeah. I've only been to one checkpoint, so there's a chance I won't be able to, just because I haven't seen any others. Uh, hello. Freddy. My daughter up there can't stop looking at that slide here. She's obsessed with it. Be careful if you decided to go to that place. I've heard it can get pretty dangerous. There have been rumours of there being fire everywhere, but that's probably just a joke, right? Hmm... I get the feeling it's not a joke. Three puzzle pieces? I heard my dad say that this place down here is made of slides. He also said it's pretty dangerous though, so I'm a little scared to go in. Uh... Okay, so this bit here? Uh... Am I supposed to be able to activate this somehow? Like, it looks like a doorway, but I don't know how to open it. Maybe I need three puzzle pieces? Uh-oh. Okay, you always lose just five money, so it doesn't really matter at all. Just like in Odyssey. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Okay, let's uh, keep wandering around, see what else we can find here. Hello. Wow, look at this structure. They call it the playground, but it's pretty dangerous for a playground. Careful not to fall off. Uh huh, yeah, I won't fall off. That'll never happen. Definitely hasn't happened twice already. Can I wall jump up here? Kind of. But it's a bit too slippery to actually make any headway. Coupon 10% off. Got a 10% off coupon, use it in a shop. Okay, so the game does have shops, I just haven't found any yet. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we got pretty standard Walker King tricks there. Uh, there's some coins hidden back here in little piles, like in a certain other game I could mention that I love. It also lets you dive. <laughs> I'm not quite used to the way the wall kicking works yet. It's a little bit different to what I'm used to. Because this is actually not the same game as Odyssey. Even if it's very similar. <laughs> oh, what's this thing? It looks like a springboard that's not there, like a hologram of a springboard. I need to unlock something to make it show up. Ah, uh, okay, we made it. Uh, head back this way. I haven't really got a good sense of how far I can dive yet, but it'll happen. Paint? Uh, I got paint? You got an orange paint bucket. I prefer smorange. I don't know what that does yet. I guess we'll find out. Oh, a lever. Let's do. Um, let's attack it? Yes, I do. Oh, it clears those clouds up there. Okay. Now if I go back to the stairs over here. By the checkpoint flag. And maybe go through this way? I would like to have like a- oh, hang on. That is- That is do what I was trying to say I wanted to do? Yes. Okay, you do have like a um side somersault move, but it doesn't look like one. But you still have the same like increased jump height from doing it that you would in a Mario platformer. So, I guess that works out. I need five puzzle pieces to go here. I keep not finding any puzzle pieces, I need to work on that. <laughs> I think I maybe went the wrong way near the beginning. Um, which suggests that maybe they should have designed the demo a little bit differently so you can do things in different orders. Um, considering the nature of this kind of collectathon game, I shouldn't be able to accidentally go the wrong way and see a bunch of stuff I'm not able to do anything with. But that is what happened. We. Oh, I'm safe. Okay. Alright, let's have a look around here. Can I go into this one? I can! Okay, so I'm entering a level. Spin panel panic. Oh, look, look, it's Mario Sunshine! We're playing Mario Sunshine now! 
Mystery box time, everyone. As long as there's no Chucksters, I should be fine. What's this? A battery? Uh, I got a battery. It just gave me more coins. A, a battery's money? There's a button here? It's like a button anyway. It didn't even do anything, though. Okay, so yeah, these aren't too complicated. Just gotta do a little flippity-d at the right time and you'll be fine. Chances are I could probably do this faster, like, and avoid the flips and stuff, but eh. It's a checkpoint. That's nice of them. Um, the mystery boxes in Sunshine don't really have checkpoint flags. Actually, that game doesn't really have checkpoint flags at all, but... The mystery boxes you always start at the beginning of the mystery box when you fail, so... Nice of them to change that. Uh, I can see something down there. I would like it, please. Oh god, that was scary. Okay, so I've got like a copyright gear? Yay? <laughs> I don't know what I just got. <laughs> I assume it's a good thing to collect, but I have no idea what it does. Uh oh. Time for falling. Okay, did I keep my copyright gear? I think so, I can't see it over there now. Yeah, it's gone now, so I guess it stayed collected. Oh jeez. It's a little scary. Oh. I should be diving more. Diving is so good, but I'm barely using it. Whoa! Oh, hello! These are like little warp panels. When you activate the second one, you warp back to the first one. Andy. I guess. Okay, those are a little high up. Hmm. Okay, I got it! <laughs> that was a little bit jankier than I would ideally prefer it to be, but it I made it work. Um, is there a reason to come over here? It doesn't look like there's any... Oh, there's, there's no copyright gear, but it's like, a ghost? Why is it a ghost? Did I do something wrong? Hmm. Maybe I messed up, I don't know. Checkpoint flag, what's down there? This. What is that, like a little rocket? I don't know how I use these things. I might need to unlock something to make them work. I, I don't know. Maybe that's my sunshine nozzle. And I need to like find it elsewhere in the level to unlock it for this level. Rocket nozzle, you know. That's a thing in that game that I'm referencing. And that this area is clearly inspired by. <laughs> oh, we got a button here. Is that actually a button? It looks like a little coin. So m maybe it's a button, but I'm not really sure. We have these warp pads. Yeah, it warps you back to the first one, or the second one. We step on it again, you get back to where you were. N no? Where are we? I think that's right. I think. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Are all the levels gonna be like this? Like, are they all sunshine mystery boxes? Uh, I did get one puzzle piece, like, in the overworld, but I don't know what to expect. Anything over there? There's like a medal. Okay, so is that like a comet medal? Oh god. Oh no, oh no. <sighs> Where am I? Did I just get sent back? I think I did. Yeah, this is, this is further back. I'm not, not quite sure why. It's okay though. Alright, am I going forward or backwards? I think I'm going backwards. <laughs> I 
feel like this Odyssey style of like camera and everything doesn't blend well with completely linear levels where you have to always go the same direction. Um, because it's easy to get confused and go the wrong direction. Or is this the wrong direction? I don't even know. I kind of wish this stuff would stay collected, so I had a bit of a clue as to whether I'd been this way before. Okay, I recognise this. I think this is where I was up to. And then... This good thing. Yeah, there we go. Then we can get on top of this. Wait. Wait, is this where I came in? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, okay, there's the puzzle piece. Let's go for the puzzle piece. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't think it bodes well that like the first level I've gone into, I've gotten completely lost. <laughs> it's pretty much entirely my own fault, I think, and not the games, but still. It's, it's not ideal, shall we say. Okay, I can easily go for the puzzle piece, but I want to get that collectible over there. There, I had to use a bit of a dive, and then, and then you get over there pretty easily. Challenge unlocked. Okay, so so it's a challenge medal. So it's similar to a combat medal, uh, perhaps not exactly the same. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no! Do I lose my challenge medal, or does that stay collected? I don't really know how this works. Uh, I think this way is forward. It's very confusing to have a checkpoint in the middle here. Uh, and then, like, the rest of the level on either side. Hmm. Like, there's, there's, like, a warp from one end of the level to the other, but there's also... a checkpoint in the middle that spawns you away from the warps? I I'm not sure why it's like that. That's just very confusing. Is it because I didn't successfully touch this one? Maybe. Okay, let's go for the puzzle piece now. I think the metal, yeah, the metal stayed collected, so we can just go for the puzzle piece. <sighs> or as, you know, seasoned collectathon players call it, a jiggy. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Yeah! Spin jump panel panic. Is it gonna warp me automatic automatically? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, there were two, two in there. Okay, that, that's what this indicator means. I got the uh, copyright coin thing, and I got the medal, but I didn't get the second one. I'm guessing you have to go in with the medal to get the second one, like that's the challenge reward. Uh, let me see here. Let's grab some coins. Uh, yeah, let's go into another level. Oh, hang on, that's gonna have these flippy panels. Oh no. Oh no, I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> let's, just, let's just do a little more overworld stuff that's like, less scary. Uh, hello. Hey, wanna buy a hint to track down those puzzles? Only a mere 30 coins. And I'm good. Okay, so you're the hint toad. <laughs> uh, I'm familiar with this part of the game, yes. Uh, hello. Everyone's over there worried about getting back into Block Town. I worry about all that stuff and you go bowling to the entrance next to me. Uh, I can't. I, ne I need another puzzle piece. I can't go through there, bowling man. Or, I guess bowler, they're just called bowler. I need five jiggies to go in there. Okay, here's another copyright coin. I still don't know what those are for, but uh, I've got two of them, so... That's probably good, right? Uh, let me see. Camera doesn't seem to like me going down there. <laughs> uh, I can get some more coins here, I can get another oh, paint can there. The controls are a little floatier than I would like. It's, it's a little tricky. A blue paint bucket. You blew it! Oh no! I did? Oh, what have I done this time? Your spin in this game is quite powerful. You can gain a lot of height. Uh, let's go this way. What's up here? 
Okay. I kinda like the music. Uh, we got a button here. Okay, of course it looked- Oh! Oh! It spawned those purple things. I assume it's time limited because I can hear like a ticking noise. Oh god. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with that. You can't crouch in this game, so you can't do a traditional Mario style long jump. Uh, you also can't play the game while permanently crouching. Uh, oh hey, you have, you have that same symbol on your head. I'm the gear guy. Bring me gears and I can enhance your abilities. Oh, that's what these are for. If you dive in midair, then spin or kick will get to dive again. Yes, I'd love that, uh, but I can't afford it. <laughs> I have two instead of five. The money magnet, coins home and you a larger radius, power-ups plus. Okay, so if I had more uh, copyright gears, I could buy cool stuff from that, that, uh, that guy there, but I don't. So I won't. Hello. I have no idea what these panel things are. I wonder if there's any way to turn them on. No. I've got no idea. <laughs> um... Do I just have to go in here and do this challenge to progress? Or is there somewhere else I can go? Can I read this? Yeah, that was not about the camera. Please be quiet, camera sign. I already read that. Uh, I know in here as well. Okay, so this is, uh, another Mario Sunshine thing. <laughs> Flipping crazy platforms. I again, like, this is incredibly Sunshine inspired. Uh, let's just dive in and have a little bit of a look. Hello! Have you heard of challenge medals? You can find them hidden in places like this. If you do find a medal, activate a button. Step on the button and you begin a special challenge. You press... Whatever button that is, you can see the medals you collected or missed. See if you can find the medal for the first challenge here. I've heard it looks like this. It actually used to be a second medal too, but my buddy stole it. Uh, I think it's this button? Or possibly this button. Those buttons are plus and minus on my controller. I don't know what buttons they're supposed to be. Supposed to be talking about, because they use this real weird symbol. I, I think they're expecting you to use like an Xbox One controller. Uh, I don't have one of those. Or else I would do that. Just for simplicity's sake. Oh! Oh! I got a life up battery! <laughs> uh, you can call it a life stream or a life up heart regardless of, like, depending on which game you prefer, but it's the thing that's in Odyssey and Mario Galaxy that gives you an extra set of life. <laughs> oh! Goombas! Hello Goombas! I mean, they're birds, but they act like Goombas. <laughs> Look out for those bird Goombas. Okay, so we've got flippity D platforms here. Honestly, not a huge threat. Um, you see these in Sunshine, uh, and you can't, like, you're in an area where you can't use Flood, uh, because that's the way the mystery boxes work in that game. But here we can use all our moves normally, uh, because this game doesn't disable your moves when you enter a mystery box, the way that Sunshine does. So it's not very difficult. Uh, what have we got going on here? Oh, oh, I see, I get it. You gotta go between them as they slowly make their way to the top. I get it. Uh... Okay. Give me a red platform. I'm glad they like flash before flipping so you got a bit of a clue about what's gonna happen. Checkpoint! Oh! Uh... I'll take that warp again, thank you. Uh, what's over there? Needs to be like deliberately kind of tricky to get over there, so there must be something hidden, right? I'm really looking forward to that second dive combo thing. That sounds great. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's no big deal, really, because, yeah, you just lose a couple coins. Oh, jeez. Sunshine's weird Mario physics really worked well with these kind of platforms, because Mario had this weird grippy effect onto every platform, regardless of, like, if it was at a real weird angle. 
Uh, this game, not so much. This game has a bit more normal sort of platforming physics instead of the weird ones from Sunshine, so... Some of these floppy platforms aren't working as well as they maybe should. Granted, I think it's these are probably better than Sunshine's physics, because that game is super weird. Challenge unlocked. Oh, I got the medal. Uh, I guess this spring takes me back? It sure does. Uh, I guess these are like rocket power-up and go fast power-up? Um, but I don't know how to unlock them. Maybe those are parts of the challenges that you get to use those things? I don't know. Okay, I can see a coin hiding there. What's down here? Oh! It's the, the, um, copyright icon. Ow. Took a little bit of damage there, but no biggie. I have two extra slots on my battery remaining, so I will not need to recharge just yet. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, let's just pop over here. Oh no, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, what's happening here? Why is that puzzle piece all dark? Oh, I see, I see. Because there's the four colours there. There's like, um... Because there's the yellow, green, red, and blue. So, so different areas have different pieces. Okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> I was worried I messed something up. Uh, I thought that was like a ghost puzzle piece. Like, I hadn't actually gotten it. I'd just gotten somewhere that I'd already gotten a piece. But I hadn't actually already gotten a piece. 3 out of 32, huh? Oh yeah, there's the link if you want to check out the game. Um, I'll put the link in the description when I upload this anyway, but yeah, that's that's the website it's on. Island Hub. So, can I... Somehow... It doesn't look like I can warp. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's an odyssey to that extent, but... Uh, it is, it does have a Power Moon list, which is, uh, quite an Odyssey thing to have, which is nice. But yeah, I don't think I can actually walk between checkpoints, though, even though they do have names. Uh, which is interesting. Yeah. Kind of surprising. Uh, we're going back this way. There's a friendly flower over here. Hello, flower. Ow, you're not a friendly flower. Let me just get a new battery, because that flower beat me up. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I, I thought they were going to talk to me, but instead they just whacked me, and I just, I just lost some battery life. Ugh. Never mess with my battery. Or you're going to get kicked by a robot. <laughs> oh, jeez. What's over here? Wizard Island. Go away, flower. I didn't drop anything, which just makes it extra weird that they want to fight you, like... They're not exactly... They're not, like, re rewarding you for the defeat, like enemies doing... Oh, hey, I remember this thing from Mario 64. It's the, it's the tower from Womp's Fortress. I remember this. <laughs> uh, there's just nothing original anymore. Like, I'm not criticizing the game, I'm, literally, I'm just saying, like... Everything has been done before. Actually, this is like very, very similar. I think this is probably a deliberate reference. Oh, the view here is just magical. I hope wherever my brother Looker is, he has a great view as well. By the way, there's a lever at the top of this tower that you might be interested in. 
Yeah, I, I like levers. I like to flip them. Let's just head on up. Boop. Uh, made some coins. One out of twenty-seven. Oh, do I have to go and get them all? Okay, so we're doing a purple coin comet now. Um, I don't know if there's a time limit. I can't hear like a timer or anything. Oh, let's just go ahead and grab them all and see what happens. I'm glad I decided on a whim to put my face in this corner of the screen, by the way. Uh, I did have it in the left corner when I was setting up, and I didn't know if that would be a problem. But it looks like a lot of stuff does appear in the left corner, so it worked out well. I sort of figured, eh, let's, let's try this other corner and see how we go. And we seem to be going well, so... Good for us. Yeah, I think this is... I, I don't, I'm not sure why we're collecting all these purple coins. I guess something will happen when we do it, but... I, I don't know what, maybe we'll just get a Jiggy or something? I mean, that's what happens when you get all the purple coins in a Mario. You, you get a Jiggy. Because that, that's definitely the thing that Mario collects in his games. <laughs> what, we got them all? Oh, we got a hoop. Is that a good thing? A puzzle piece. Oh! Oh, I get it. I get it. If you have a look at the look at the puzzle piece, you've got the, the pieces on the inside, the yellow and the green and the blue and the red, and then around that there's a purple ring, which is also a puzzle piece. Oh I like it. Um It's giving me Odyssey vibes because you know Odyssey has differently coloured runes for each kingdom. Uh to give you the feeling of travelling around and stuff. This feels similar. Uh, you're not always collecting the same piece, you're collecting different stuff as you wander around. Activate this now? I can. Let's go bowling. Bowling lane. Oh god, this looks really scary. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Welcome to bowling lane. Thanks. Uh, I can't break these? Okay. They look just like the other crates. Go away Goombas. This is my bowling alley, not yours. Okay, we got coin rings. I remember those from another game I could mention. <laughs> yeah. uh, is this thing gonna flip or just move? I think the, I think these like pinkish ones just move. They don't like crank you or anything. Checkpoint. Yeah. What's hiding over here? Just some coins. I do like coins, so yeah. might as well grab them. Looking forward to finding that shop that I know exists because I got a coupon for 10% off. I'm hoping I can buy cool costumes and stuff. Like another game I could mention. I think you know which one I mean because, you know, I talk about it all the time. <laughs> okay, let's just carefully make our way over. Oh! I forgot which button was spin. I was like pressing the Y button, which is dive, to try to gain more height and spin. It doesn't, it doesn't work. D diving in this game does not give you height, it just gives you distance. Uh, it gives you a little bit of height in Odyssey. Uh, a little bit. Uh, but here it doesn't give you any. So, <laughs> yeah, gotta use the correct button, otherwise you're gonna have some problems. Okay, we're just getting right into the, the scary bowling now. Okay, so the balls do not insta-kill you, they just do one battery of damage. Also, you can jump on those boxes. Didn't know that. Now I do. Oh, the flag has a little bowling ball. Are, are there different flags for different levels? That, that would be really interesting. Because that's a thing that Odyssey's flags do not do. They're all little M's. Like, because it's Mario playing the game. Even though it's actually me playing the game. Got a little, little, little letter D for Danny. Or C for Cappy. Cappy's the real hero. It's pretty great. Let's run up there? Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, we've got a big button here. And we do bowling. You can now use bowling balls. Walk up to an item panel and press Y to launch a bowling ball in front of you. Bowling balls will roll into enemies and even activate levers. They can collect coins and trigger gold rings as well. Try throwing them next to those bowling pins to the left. Oh gosh, here we go. Oop. Hang on, Y is actually... I think X on this controller? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, let's go. <laughs> so is it like time limited? Is it going to wear off if I don't use it? Or is it just like until I use it, I just have it? I'm not really sure what to expect. Ow. Okay, so we want to uh, bowl here in order to knock those pins over. There we go. We'll get that ring as well because we deserve it. Bring it head over this way. I'm guessing that level will. Oops! <laughs> Let's just fall off the edge again. Okay, so. Bowl. I can see those extra pins hanging out there in the distance. I wonder if I should chuck a bowling ball that way. I can probably hit him. I just gotta be a little more precise. Okay, nearly, nearly. Yeah, I'm definitely supposed to do that. You can see there's moving back and forth in that area. Oops. Can I hurt myself with these bowling balls? I really hope not. Because <laughs> that'd be real bad for me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, I probably need to spin and get a bit more height. Oh no, I got it. Okay, it gives you a, it gives you a battery. I think that's an extra... Yeah, that's a life up battery, and it gives you some coins. And over there we've got some coin rings as well, so we can chuck this way to get those. If we so desire. I think it just lasts until you throw it. It doesn't seem to go away over time or anything. That's nice. Okay, so what I'm probably supposed to do here is actually chuck a bowling ball this way. Try to get them out of the way. But it doesn't seem to do a whole lot if I do that, so maybe not. Them tasty coins. Yum yum yum. Kind of a little janky that if you're standing in the power up when it activates, you don't get it. Um, you gotta like walk off it and then walk back on. Um, not ideal. I'm guessing. Yeah, it turns those off, which means I'd have to cross back to like across a dangerous path sort of thing. I could probably do it. Like, you can jump and dive that far, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to flip it and then go this way. Is that like a third layer of health? Okay, no, it's just like more coins. I'm not sure what it was what it was supposed to be. Now let's see what this does. Okay. What have we here? What's going on? You can see the challenge medal over there. Okay, no, I cannot dive that far. I thought I probably could, but I, if I had the dive combo, I probably could, but with my current abilities, I cannot go that far. What I probably actually need to do is go over here and then throw my bowling ball back this way, like this. Because then I can stand on this platform, uh, like so, and... Um... <laughs> can I throw it that far, or is it too far? Uh, yes, no, that works. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> so does this thing fill up my battery? Does it give me a second battery? Is it just a... It does not. Okay, I wasn't sure. Uh, let's just go this way for now, I suppose. Okay, so here, all you gotta do is just chuck the bowling ball like that, then stand over here, and you can get on this piece. Easy. Okay, then we get to the uh, the bowling half pipe of, of hell. <laughs> um, what am I looking at here? <laughs> Oh gosh, this is very scary. Oh, these are little things with like bowling shoes in them. I, I thought it was like bookshelves, and I didn't understand why there were bookshelves at a bowling alley. But no, they're like they're like the little shoes you rent for the out for the bowling alley. They're in a little rental shoe shelf. Okay, 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 we made it. Uh, before we grab the puzzle piece, which is another blue one I'm noticing. Grab that first, and then we'll grab the puzzle piece. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Kinda wish it was called something more interesting than just bowling lane, but yeah, that's alright. Okay, we missed everything else in that level, but hey, we can use bowling balls now. Let's go! Can I... 
Can I break like those boxes and things that have bowling balls on them using the bowling ball? Is that what it's for? Yes. Off we go. <laughs> oh, hello. A bowling themed challenge? Don't mind if I do. I mean, I say challenge, but it's just sort of a bowling themed playground, really. Just get to do some fun bowling. Break some stuff. See some crates floating somehow. Oh, it's one of those crates. I see how it is. Stay away, little little birds. I've not seen a lot of enemies, honestly. Like, there's been those little birds, and they sort of chase you like Goombas, but beyond that, like, there's nothing. And you can jump on them. They're, they're not a threat at all. I feel kind of bad killing them. Um... Okay, so I want to throw a bowling ball into the middle, so I can get that. But I'm gonna need a bit more height than that. Um... Maybe if I throw a bowling ball at this one, there'll be like a spring underneath? No. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe... Hmm. Hang on, I'll talk to this person. What have you got to say? Hello. That gear in the middle of this place seems pretty out of reach. Bet you could probably reach it with a well-timed dive midair. Be careful if you do though, if you miss up the timing you might bonk off the side. Okay, so you don't want me to use a bowling ball, you want me to jump over there? I guess I can do that. Or I can't, you know, either way. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm not sure what to make of that. Is this open yet? It is. What area is this? What, what are you doing here? Did you talk to the mayor? He's really mad. Something to do with the circle block kicking us all out? Personally, I like this place a lot better. <laughs> Alright. Can I talk to the sign to find out what this level's about? Doesn't look like it. Talk to you? I have some secret puzzle pieces hoarded away to situations like this. Like what? I should go get the one I stored away on the hill in Blocktown. Oh wait, that's where this puzzle door leads to. Oops. I mean this one. Oh, okay, so not all the doors lead to uh, Sunshine Mystery Boxes. Some of them lead to uh, 64 style playground levels. That's nice. I kind of wish they looked different depending on where they led, because they don't. They, they all look identical. Um, but like some of the scenery around them gives you a bit of a hint, usually. <laughs> Look out, little birdies. The only enemies I've seen in the game, and they're not even that threatening, and I feel pretty bad when I punch them. Okay, they can hurt me, but, like... Look, look how high you bounce. Whee! <laughs> uh... I wonder if there's... Okay, there won't, there won't be a hundred coin uh, sh shine star puzzle piece, uh, because, you know, I have 415 of the things. What's this do? Like a collect all the things timed challenge sort of thing. I don't think I'm doing very well, but I don't know how many there are. Oh no, I did it. Okay. <laughs> quick wall jumps. I guess if, I guess you can call those quick. Oh, and I didn't exit. I'm still here. Okay, so we've got we've got Odyssey. Um, you know, grab all the things in one visit style for the bigger levels like this one. That's nice. Uh, hello. Those flower bonkers around here, sure look like they're having a good time. Wonder why this wonder why they're so happy. Let's find out. Can I spin them? It doesn't look like it. I, I think I can spin some enemies but not others. Confusing. Well they're dead now, so they're not having a good time anymore, but nothing happened. I was expecting that to spawn something, but it didn't. And now I feel bad again. I'm just a senseless killer. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can go in? I can go in. Oh, uh, hello. Are you a cop? The circle bot shorted a number on this place. I haven't seen renovations like these in years. 
the exit seems to be way over there across the chasm. You probably need to take the long way through all these traps if you want through. I mean, I could just go back the way I came in, right? Like this door over here. Hello. Let's head back through these doors if you want to go back to the town. I also heard you can exit any area in the pause menu, and you'll keep your progress too. How convenient is that? I wish all games were like that. I mean, a lot of them are. <laughs> also, uh, whoops, fourth wall. Wasn't really expecting this game to respect the fourth wall, but it's still kind of weird when it happens. Can I triple jump? I can double jump, but I don't think I can triple jump. Down the well. Here we go. Oh, it warps you to the other well. Of course it does. Hello. Where'd you come from? Are these wells magic or something? Yes. Our friend told me wells are suspicious. I thought it was just a crazy conspiracy theorist. Theorist. Any weird conspiracies, I can't help but think the flower bonkers are hiding something. I mean, I killed them and I didn't get anything, so I doubt it. Unless it's just more of them and I didn't find enough. Which is entirely possible. Take that, Jack. Okay, I can see this, uh, like, running power up around. Maybe I'll, I'll unlock it in this level somewhere. Find the way to activate it and make it usable. Also, we're being dive-bombed. Like in a certain other level from a game I could mention. Uh, that has similar... Big playground style levels. <laughs> it feels a lot like a one battlefield, is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh gosh. Do I just need to like defeat them all? I think they might be respawning, in which case I don't need to defeat them all because that would be impossible. <laughs> it looks like the um, flag is normally just a, like a jigsaw piece, but sometimes it's something else, like a bowling ball. Kind of interesting that it's not consistently, like, themed to the level, it's just sometimes themed to the level. Boing! Ow! Ow! Seriously? <laughs> Alright. Did they all respawn? Yeah, they did. I actually have no idea how to time my attacks on these guys. I don't think spinning helps at all, either. So, hmm. I'm guessing this is the one I need to defeat, because they're like, the big one. Okay, I took damage, but I defeated them, so that's cool. But, um, nothing happened. I have to defeat all of them, because they're all over the place. <sighs> it's gonna take forever. <laughs> Dive? Okay, you can't dive into boxes to break them open, which is what I was trying to do there. Green ones look so friendly, why do they attack? It's just rude. Oh god, my health. Taking so many hits. It's just terrible. I don't think I have any way to heal. Um. Oh no. Oh no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing this. Let's go to something else. Go over here. Oh god, that's gonna be like one I have to defeat as well in one life, isn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna go through the well and go to the other well. And whoa, hang on. Where am I now? Okay, I, I'm in. I'm back where I was. All right. 
Uh, okay, let's have a look over here at the blue and red house. What's up here? Got a bunch of money, got some rings I can go through, get some more money. There's something in the middle here? Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here, man. We're hiding from the circle bot and you're gonna reveal our spot. Our spo. Oh, it said spot, but the T went off the edge. Sorry. I heard the circle bot is after puzzle pieces this time. Maybe he doesn't think my antenna one is real. I just bought it. My name's Heidi. <laughs> Maybe I can lure the explosion into a certain place, but then it's going to be targeting me, so I'm not sure how I would do that. Uh, can I have any of this? I've been collecting these paint cans. Sorry. Welcome to my- excuses. Hi, welcome to my shop. Sorry I'm not home right now, I'm on vacation at the moment. Please feel free to look around. Michelle. Okay, so it wasn't actually excuses who wrote that, it was Michelle. <laughs> I see. Um, okay, so there's like a spring power up there, but I can't activate it. All I can do is break all these crates. And I guess climb up there without the spring power up because I can totally do that. Um, I think I'm probably supposed to use the spring power up here so I can get some more height, but that's not really an option because I don't have access to it yet. Okay, we'll just do that then. Hmm. Ah, looking around. Uh, let's check out in the house, I guess. So I did go in there and then it sort of went out again. I assume that's like the main mission of this level, to get through this area inside the house. That was the impression it gave, anyway. That guy is definitely a cop. I hate you. Okay, we got a uh, little exploding soccer balls. So we're playing 3D World now. All right. Wasn't my favorite, but we can we can play 3D World. Can I punch them over there? Yes. Oh, hello. The spring's over there. That's fun. Oh god. Let's break that. Yeah, the controls are a little less tight than I would like them to be. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Not really big deal if you fall down, thankfully. Doesn't really impact you all that much. I wish there weren't all these colors of batteries that do different things when they look more or less identical. Like, if you think about the way it works in, in, um, Odyssey, <laughs> uh, you have, you know, the, the life up part, which has a crown on it, it looks very different to the other one. It's, it's like, very visibly a different thing. Oh, I see, we need to break this force field. There we go. Oh, that other force field as well. Alright. Checkpoint. Okay, the red battery is not the one that gives you an extra three. I think it's the green one, maybe, that gives you an extra three, but I can't remember. Because they all look the same. Oh no! I suppose it really matters if I have an extra three anyway, given the situation. I'm just kind of on tiny platforms here, I'm not really worrying about my health that much. Not falling.
Coming up to about an hour, so I'll probably finish this area and then give some thoughts. You know how I do with my videos. I mean, unless this is the first one you've ever seen. In which case, you don't know how I do with my videos, but now you will. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, what did I just discover? Am I supposed to go this way? I'm really confused. Like, it looks like I'm supposed to follow from this way to get to here again. Like, like a, like an alternate route or something? Yeah. Well, is there anything over, over there? No, there's just some coins. I'm supposed to go over there? No, that's where I came from. I guess I'm just meant to go this way. Um... For some reason. <laughs> okay, it's got one of the little warp panels, so I guess this is the right way. Ow. Ah, camera! Camera! Okay, our second time wasn't really camera, but I like saying camera. So. Okay, that was camera. Oh, jeez. Checkpoint. Thanks for breaking those boxes for me, it's real helpful. I didn't really need them, so it's nice of you to get rid of them. Oh god, did I need the boxes? <laughs> uh. Okay, this one isn't being broken automatically, so that means I probably want to break it myself. If I can, that'd be great. There we go. Yeah, there's a spring. Oh no! Oh, thank god. I guess that's cool. What's this gonna take me? Down there? I could have just jumped there. I don't really need this helping me. Okay, you break that and then this thing can get out and break these, which lets you get a coin. Alright. These rewards are pretty underwhelming. <laughs> Ink battery? Okay, that heals me. Would you like to be healed? The very similar part of Odyssey, um, with the smart bombs you have to deflect with Cappy is a lot less, uh, janky to control because Cappy has a much bigger range than this little punch. <laughs> and like the Pokios do too, they have a much bigger range than this. Um, so it's not really ideal design to do things the way this is working. Just say. Stay with caution. This is a, this area is unsafe. All those previous areas, they were they were they were dangerous, but this one, this one's extra unsafe. Ow. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, I uh, don't think I didn't spot you just there. Heck yeah. Okay, I can see a key all the way over there. Clearly I want that. Ow. Yeah. <sighs> I'm here for my key. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not here to get bitten. Okay, I got the key. I guess I have to take it back to that locked door from earlier. I guess I can do that. Yeah. I'm not sure if I keep it if I die, so I'm gonna try to avoid death. Um, a little more than I normally would. <laughs> oh! Does touching the flag heal me every time? Because it, it should. It doesn't though. Uh, can I can unlock this. I was switching here. Boop. Okay, that opens up this thing, so I can get on the spring. Oh, uh, hello. Are you a boss battle? You? 
Here to foil my plans? Once I get enough puzzle pieces, I'll be able to rule over everything! Behold, the Circlebot Machine version 22. Okay, so you're a boss battle. Can I... Okay, there's like no visible like reason I can't jump out of the arena, but I can't jump out of the arena. I can spin the bombs, but it doesn't really deflect them the same way punching them does. Okay, he probably takes three hits like that. Yeah, so it's very similar to Odyssey bosses where there's like a force field protecting you from leaving, but unlike Odyssey bosses, you can't see the force field. Um, I mean, you can just about see it, it's just, it's just not as visible. Oh yeah, I, I, actually, yeah, I can see it. It's just harder to see than it is in the other game. But I'm gonna keep referencing all day long. Because I love it. So basically we're fighting Harriet from Odyssey right now. Um... <laughs> sure do love that game. Ow. Okay, okay, I give in. You win. Sure do. Blasted machine. Clearly, that's willing to work out the kinks. I'll remember this. <laughs> I circle bot. Okay, cool, a puzzle piece. <laughs> okay, so we got a couple of puzzle pieces from there. See, we got a red one and a yellow one. Um I'm right about an hour now, so... None of these are warps, are they? I mean, it doesn't look like it. That's a shame. So yeah, um... This game looks pretty fun. Um... I'm eager to see where it continues to. I'm gonna finish the demo, like... I have not really scratched the surface here. There are 32 puzzle pieces to collect, and I've only gotten 7 of them. Uh, but we are at about an hour, so I'm just gonna give some thoughts now. Uh, this game is really pretty. Um... They've, like... The, the visual style is really nice. It definitely has, you know, like a galaxy vibe to it. It looks very nice. Um, it controls well. It could control better. Um, I mentioned the controls are a little bit floaty. Um, it's not quite as reliable, reliably putting the robot where you expect them to be as a uh, certain other character I could mention that this game is clearly referencing anyway, so I should probably just say it, Mario. <laughs> Oh, hey, I can tip over the trash can. Goodbye, trash can. <laughs> um... It feels like um, some, of the, some of the controls that this game has aren't mentioned anywhere. It would be nice to have a bit more of a tutorial, maybe. Um, maybe some, like, signs you can optionally read, uh, Mario 64 style, for things like that. And can I buy clothes from you? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what do we got here? Uh, let's see, let's, let's get the bow, that looks adorable. Uh, let's use the coupon, yeah. Oh, that's not the use coupon button. That one. Get yeah, that, that coupon, use that. Confirm. How do I, how do I confirm that I want to use it? Confirm. How do I actually use the coupon? <laughs> like, I'm pressing the Y button. It's bringing the coupon up like that. Then I press Y again, it goes back down. I can't actually buy something. Press A, it goes back down as well. Oh, well, I, I, I bought this now. How do I, how do I wear it? 
I go to the wardrobe and... Okay, oh, oh. Okay, so we're very much talking, talking Odyssey time here. <laughs> so yeah, you can just dress up your robot in a couple of different ways. Looks like these paints I've been finding go on my robot, which is nice. It says Y button for secondary color. Oh, I see. So I could uh, make myself, let's say, that and... That and that. Yeah, there we go. Cute. <laughs> Can I go inside? No, I can't. I just sort of slide down it. Alright, so yeah, um... Things like, yeah, the being able to do the side flip move, like, doesn't ever tell you about that. It doesn't seem to tell you that you have at least a double jump. You don't have a triple jump as far as I can tell, but you do have a double jump. Uh, and the game does not tell you about that either. Actually, is it even higher? I think it's a little bit higher. Let me just mess this out. It is higher. So yeah, yeah, you do have a double jump that the game does not mention to you. Uh, bounce around a little bit here. Um, and that's, that's a Mario 64 style double jump, where you jump, and then when you land, you jump again, you go a bit higher. Not, not like an every other game in the world style double jump, which is where you jump in midair. <laughs> Just to clarify. Uh, and you've got your galaxy spin. I think having some sort of visual on when the spin comes back would be good. Granted, that would be, that would be like, aping galaxy even more with the little luma thing that goes... Um... But it would still be helpful. <laughs> Um, similarly, like, this dive, you can't use it just whenever, um, which is confusing. Uh, I understand that you want to unlock the dive, the dive as an extra combo move, like, that you spend your copyright gears on, but... Um, I, I think some sort of clarification of when you're allowed to use these moves and when you're not, some sort of visual indication would be nice. Like, especially because of the way the way the dive works, like, Odyssey's dive, like, you can dive and then do a cap throw and then dive again, and that just works and it makes sense. Like, you're interrupting your dive by doing another move, then you can do another dive. Um, and you get one cap bounce, and that's, like, easy to learn. Uh, because you can see yourself doing the cap bounce, and then you throw a cappy and you don't bounce off her. Um, and again, like, Galaxy Spin, uh, when you do the spin, you have the little Luma go, and then you know that you've got another spin once that happens. Uh, whereas in this game, there's going to be an indication of when those moves have recharged, which isn't quite ideal. Um, also, the wall jumping noise is a bit weird. See? It, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> um, I think it would be nice to have some sort of fast travel system. I don't know how much that matters. Um, I'm guessing the levels will be, like... Like, presumably the demo is going to be smaller than the full game, so you might want more options to fast travel. It looks like that might be planned already, because these checkpoints out here in the hub world do have names, so it may be possible that you get to travel between them. Uh, Odyssey style on the menu, but as far as I can tell, you can't do that yet. So, hopefully that'll be a thing that gets added. Um, uh, have a look at the options here. Oh! Okay, so it does support the Pro Controller. I would only switch button prompts to display. Hang on, I'll just switch that on. Does that change the sign over here? Uh, yes, that does change the sign over here. I don't know if it's actually compatible with the Pro Controller, but it is now showing me the correct buttons, so... That's a start. <laughs> Okay, um, that's first person, zooming out, zooming in. Um, some sort of UI for the zooming levels might be good, like, even st the classic Mario 64 style, there's a little camera, you put a down arrow on it or an up arrow on it, that would be fine. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, let me start thinking. Uh, you got your menu here. That that's fine the way it is. That's that that looks good. I should probably check out what the assist mode does before I go. 
Let's move my mouse cursor out of the way. There we go. Uh, let's see. Pro controller, camera distance normal. What's my graphics quality set to? I don't know. Uh, let's put it to best and see what happens. <laughs> uh, camera hints. Oh, yeah, it adjusts automatically. Assist mode. Make yellow and orange platforms spawn and make harder platforming sections easier. Always give you a max of six hits instead of three. So, fairly similar to the thing in Odyssey, but I think a bit less um, in depth, perhaps. Let's try hanging on and see what happens. Okay, it didn't actually increase my base health. Um, it just gives me a permanent, like a permanent boost or something. Doesn't make sense. What am I trying to say? It, it permanently gives you a life up heart. Uh, the assist mode in Odyssey, it sets your base health to six, and then a life up heart increases it to nine, uh, which I think is better. Um, let's just go into a level so we can try to see some of these uh, helpful platforms that have been added. Uh, we're going a bit over an hour here, but, you know, just a little bit. So we can have a bit of a look around. Uh, let's get back to the well. That was the part I was having trouble with. Now I have assist mode on, it might be a little easier to manage. Or it might be exactly the same, who knows. Okay, um, there's no more platforms over there. Is this mode actually on? Did I, did I turn it on properly? Let me just have a look. Yeah, it's on. Um, everything looks the same, so I'm not really sure what turning that on actually did. <laughs> I don't think anything changed, so, uh, I mean, I guess I always have at least six health now, but it can't go higher than six, so I always have exactly six health now. Also, I can't punch this guy for some reason. There we go. Ow. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, it's definitely taking a lot of, a lot of cues from Nintendo's Mario 3D collectathons, but there's still some uh, quirks to work out, I think. These checkpoint flags, they should work like Odyssey checkpoint flags. You should be able to warp between them. Uh, I don't think there's a reason you can't. Um, I know that in some places they use more like Sunshine sunshine Galaxy style checkpoint flags. They'll literally just use where you respawn if you die. Um, but in a level like this, for example, it's basically a big playground. It definitely should work the way it does. In Odyssey, where you can walk around and go to different bits of it. Uh, what else? Uh, I think maybe the I think the, the combat's a little weak. Like uh, again, to compare to Mario, in Mario 64, if you mash the punch button, uh, Mario doesn't just punch. He goes wah wah, and then he does a little kick. Like he has he has little, a little combo of different moves that come out instead of just repeating the same animation over and over if you just mash the button, and that would be nice. Uh, I think that would improve uh, this this little fellow's combat abilities to have, like it doesn't actually change how Mario fights at all, but it is a little bit quicker. Uh, so it, I guess it does change how he fights a little bit because it makes him a bit faster. Um, but like the actual damage output of each attack is exactly the same. It's just a little more visually interesting essentially. Also, uh, diving probably should be an attack, or at least it should break boxes. I don't know why it doesn't. Um, wait, do I just lose down below six again? Huh, maybe I can heal back up and it'll always let me heal back up. Let me just find a battery and see what happens. I don't quite understand how assist mode works in this game yet. Okay, yeah, it heals you all the way back up whenever you get a battery. Okay, that makes sense. At least a battery that gives you enough health to get you to, get you to full, full is, full is sick. Um, I definitely prefer the way Odyssey does it. Like your base is six, the life up heart gives you nine. If you lose that, you still have you still have six as your base, and it displays differently instead of looking exactly like you have a life up heart that takes you to six. Um, so I assume they'll tweak the UI and stuff later, but. This is, this is, after all, it's a demo, but yeah. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, collecting coins is a lot of fun. Um, 
I think the shop should maybe have some things that are actually useful. Um, I know that Odyssey's shop is mostly, you know, just clothes that don't do anything and is completely useless, but you can buy life up hearts and moons at all the shops in Odyssey, and sometimes that is useful. Mostly if you're doing an all unique moons run, and therefore you need to buy a moon at every shop in order to get all the moons. <laughs> but like, yeah, just being able to buy like certain gameplay uh, little helpers is nice, and uh, it'd be nice to see that in this game as well. Um, native pro controller support, like, it looks like you have the prompts enabled, but again, it wasn't working with my pro controller at all, it wasn't detecting it. So, I assume it doesn't actually yet support the pro controller, it's expecting you to use some sort of software that makes the pro controller act like a 360 controller, or an Xbox One controller, or some other kind of controller that's not Nintendo, basically. <laughs> <sighs> Um, I think that's pretty much all I had to say at this point. I'm really liking how this game is looking, and I'm definitely going to finish the demo and play through all I can. Um, some of it's, like, really real tricky, um, especially with the controls being a little jankier than ideal. Um, I also, I'm also surprised there's no crouch button. Like, like, you can press ZL, and like, you do a little bit of a crouch, like this, look. The character sort of sort of squats down a tiny bit, but that doesn't seem to do much of anything. You punch the same, you jump, uh, pretty much the same. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem to affect you at all. You just can't move while you're crouching like this. Uh, it's kind of funny if you press the dash, like this, the um dive button when you're doing this. Instead of diving, you sort of you start skiing, kind of. <laughs> I don't know if this is like an idea that's like a work in progress and will make more sense in the final game. But when you press this button something useful might happen instead of just this. Uh, I can't actually steer by the way, even though like I'm moving forward I can't change direction at all. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Uh, I think the ledge grab animation maybe needs a little tweaking. I think I'll just demonstrate. Find a ledge I can actually grab so I can demonstrate properly. Can I not grab one of this? Maybe this one? Okay, I can grab one of this, right? It's great here. Yeah, there it is. Um, it doesn't... It's not really clear that you're on a ledge, I guess. Um, you can climb up with the, with the B button like that, or the whatever your jump button is. It's B for me, because it's a pro controller, but... I don't know, it's just... It doesn't really look like you've actually grabbed it. It looks like you're... Well, that's why it looks like that, because you're not actually touching it. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're grabbing the ledge, it looks like you are falling still, even though you're not. Um, which is confusing, because uh, it's sort of the same pose as this one when you're falling. So, that needs a bit of tweaking to be a little more clear what's happening. Um, and, hang on, let me just find an enemy, I want to test out this spin. I think the spin in this game is not an attack, but I'm not really sure. I'm getting the impression it's not an attack. Yeah, so the spinning galaxy is an attack. It is used all the time for attacking purposes. Uh, but in this game, it looks like it's not an attack. Um, and that's quite confusing. Um, it should maybe work less well than punching, but it should definitely be an attack. Uh, because it not being an attack is just confusing. Um... <sighs> Because, you know, this game is, you know, a massive reference to those Mario games, and the spin, which is from Galaxy, is your main, is your primary form of attacking enemies in Galaxy. I know you can punch in this game too, but it doesn't make sense that this thing you use all the time in Galaxy as a combat move doesn't work. Uh, it becomes confusing and unintuitive. Okay, I defeated them. Oh no, I have to go all the way back over there? <sighs> Alright. Okay, okay. Okay, well we got this one. <laughs> um, I don't really understand why the different puzzle pieces are used in different areas. Um, 
It seems like the purple one is found by like doing a challenge of some kind and then it appears. Like the first one we had to get some purple coins, this one we had to defeat all those guys. Uh, the yellow one maybe is just the primary one? I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, but then there was somewhere the blue one seemed to be the primary one. It doesn't seem to really map. Granted, I've only collected eight of them, so, you know, maybe it'll make more sense as I progress, but so far it just looks like you just get an arbitrary, arbitrary puzzle piece colour, essentially. Um, so it'd be nice to have some clarity over what that means when you get a certain colour. Also, checkpoints should probably heal you. Uh, like, again, if you compare it to a certain other game called Super Mario Odyssey, when you get to a checkpoint in Odyssey, you get healed to full health. Um, it doesn't count as a life up heart or anything, so if you're below 6, you don't go back to 6, for example, but you do get healed. And here, that does not happen. And it probably should. Especially because the combat right now is a little janky. Uh, it needs some polishing. Uh, boing. Uh, also, when you die, you don't seem to drop your coins anywhere. Granted, you only lose five, but... Again, to compare to Odyssey, in Odyssey, when you drop your coins from taking damage and dying, you can go back to where they were and pick them up. Uh, which is nice. A nice little feature of that game that is not in this game, as far as I can tell. Um, and it'd be nice to have it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I... I I guess I'm more or less just rambling at this point. So yeah, this is robots and things. I'll put a link to the game's website in the description. You can play the demo if you want, it's completely free. Uh, it's only on Windows. I haven't tried to emulate it with like Wine, so I don't know if that will work. I think it's like Unity maybe, so that might work, but uh, it also might not. <laughs> so, you know, give it a try if you're interested, see what happens. What's happening here? Uh, ooh, hello. Indigo paint bucket. Were you expecting teal? Indigo's fine. Um... But yeah, so yeah, free game. You can check out. Um, and maybe support the Kickstarter if you're really interested. I don't really know anything about the developers, so I don't know if I really want to encourage necessarily supporting the developers, but playing the free game isn't going to cause any suspicious things to happen. <laughs> so, you know, definitely at least check out the demo if this looks like fun to you. Oh, also the camera needs a little bit of work. This should not happen. I, I should not be able to see the inside of this building and nothing that I'm trying to see. Um, basically the camera should stop here, or it can go into here but show something different that actually shows me what, what I need to see. Like, if I can see through the building, that's fine. If I can just sort of see the inside of the building and not see what I'm trying to do, that's not fine. Um, basically either you do it like an Odyssey thing where it will, the camera just literally hits that wall and will not go through, or you can do something a bit like Sunshine does, where you go through and then it shows like a little cutout, and then you can see what's happening normally. Uh, right now what it's doing is, is not helpful. I can still see like a shadow of where my character is, which is something, but, uh, I can't see anything else. And there's, there's no reason to see the inside of this building and the skybox and all this other stuff. The, the camera shouldn't be allowed to do this. I know this is a demo, but that is something that probably needs to be addressed. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I've pretty much rambled about this game long enough, so uh, check out this this demo. Oh no, it's not It's not Unity, it's Unreal Engine 4. It's a, the, the actual executable I'm running is called UE4 Game Win64 Shipping, so it's definitely Unreal Engine 4. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, you can check this game out if you wanna. Uh, if it looks like fun to you, you can check out this demo for free and you might get some fun out of it, a couple of hours. I don't know how long it's actually gonna be, but I'm like, you know, well that's like roughly a third of the way through, a little bit less. Um, and it took me about an hour to do that, so in, you know, it'll last you three to four hours <laughs> just to play the demo for free. And you can get a feel for if you like it. Um, I mostly like it. You know, I've been very critical in the past few minutes because I just kind of do that. Um, and because I just I kind of love Super Mario Odyssey is really the main reason. Um, 
But this game looks good, and you'd probably enjoy it if you like Octathon platformers. So check it out, and maybe back it on Kickstarter. Maybe find out more about the devs before you do that, because I could not find any information about them, and hopefully there'll be more if you have a look later, like once this video goes up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, probably would make sense if you just broke these crates immediately when you spun up them, rather than having them crack like that, but maybe the idea is so you can jump on them. I'm not sure what the intention is there. Okay, but you can't jump on these ones. That's interesting. You can punch them. Hmm. Oh, also, yeah, I, I shouldn't be able to move the camera this low. <clears throat> it should stop, like, roughly here and not let me go. Okay, now I can't go lower again, so... I'm not sure what's letting me move the camera quite this low and showing me what's under the world, but I shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a couple of quirks. Uh, a couple of things that need to be ironed out before a full release, certainly. Um, and yeah. Um, pretty much all I have to say, I guess, so... Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you like the look of this game, you can play it. <laughs> um, did I get to five? I don't, I don't think I got to five. No, I have four, so I can't buy any more moves. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's Robots and Things. Uh, like the demo? Maybe support their project on Kickstarter. Maybe. Definitely look into them first, because I don't know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's the game if you want to get the demo for yourself. That's the URL. And it's pretty fun. And you might enjoy it if you like this kind of game. I like this kind of game. You may remember how, like, excited I was about Woodle, Woodle Tree 2 Deluxe being essentially a collector's on platformer. And instantly I fell in love because it was a collector's on platformer. This is my favourite genre, I think. <laughs> So yeah, um, if you are a collected on platformer person like I am, then this is a game that you should check out. And I've said that so many times. Let's just end the video now. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I just grabbed my mouse to try to stop the video, and um, your mouse can move the camera, and you can walk around with the with Wasset and space. Oh, that is weird. I don't think I would recommend playing the game like this, but you you can. Okay, those controls are weird. Uh, yeah, you dive with that, you attack with that, you spin with that. Okay, so it has mouse and keyboard controls. I wouldn't recommend playing with them, but you can. <laughs> uh, probably you'd have more fun playing with a gamepad like I was doing. Also, the camera is really confusing when you do it with a mouse like this. Very disorienting. Okay, um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!